Please subscribe and share this video with your friends. Hello ladies, it's Marnie Batista from Dating with Dignity and I am here today with the handsome, super smart Corey Jenkins from lifewithawareness.com and I love that you have this whole like male dating guy expertise plus you're like super spiritual and cool and conscious and that's sort of who we want to, to learn from, right ladies? He's like the ideal guy and well, he's taken. I love being here. Well, I am taken, that's true, but it took me learning all this in order to become taken. Exactly, but the point is he's not like the only one. He wasn't like the last one on the shelf at Walmart. Okay, <laughs> so so what we want to do today is we want to talk about something. You know, I was saying women are working so hard to find love. It's like the question we got was how how do I get a guy, you know, to really know that I like him? Mm. So you had a really great uh, answer to this. So will you share with the friends? <laughs> it, it's about, I think affection is a big deal. Now on a previous show, we talked about not going too far right. earlier in a relationship. So I don't want to mistake what I'm calling affection for sex. There is a monster difference. In fact, my opinion is that sex is part of affection. Mm -hmm. The affection right. I'm talking about now is the subtle things when you are attracted to someone, whether it's that you haven't been on a date yet, or maybe you're on a second or third date, you know, it's, sometimes it's nice, just little touches, yes. little things, um, looking somebody in their eyes, listening to what they're right. saying, engaging in a conversation. But to me, I really look for affection. I'm an affectionate person, so it means a lot to me when a woman will come up and even just give me a really deliberate hug. That's good. Or a small kiss. It's I, a huge deal. Oh, that, I love that. So here's the thing, ladies. So you're out there, you're in the world, and you're talking to this guy, and you're thinking he's cute. You can do the lean in. You can do the like, oh my God, that's so funny, right? And instead of doing this, you can do like a little, mm, you know, like a little squeeze, a little something special that says, I don't want to be your friend. Right. I like you. And it works two ways because one, we've been taught that that is like a classic move. That is one of the ways that right. you share it. But also we feel it. I mean, there is something that happens mm. when you're vibing with somebody and, you know, two people touch, energy moves and it's we all get about it. energy. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about social media yeah. because this is huge. You met your fiance on Facebook. I did. My friend who's a dating coach, Jonathan Asley, met his... Oh, I know Jonathan. Yeah. He yeah. met Sherry on Facebook. So... Is it okay to pursue? How can you let a guy know you in the social media world? What do you think? My advice, ladies, is I say go for it. I know that you've been taught that you're supposed to be these submissive humans <laughs> that just wait around for the guys to come and tap you on the shoulder right. and say, will you marry me? Exactly. But I think anything you want in life, including a man, you've got to go get it. So yep. yes, I say friend the guys that you're interested in in talking to you on Facebook. Right. Do what you got to do. And then you can make that initial contact and then see if it's reciprocated. So here's the thing. So what is a, so shades a gray lady. He's not saying like, go and be like, so I think you're really cute and you're friends with my friend, Sarah. And like, would you like to meet us up for, you know, no. What he's saying is you're in, so imagine you're out in the real world and you see a really cute guy across the room. You would smile at him. Okay. In Facebook, that would be friend him. Yes. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. So then you'd be up at the bar and you'd be like, do you mind holding my drink while I go? Right. So you ask for help. So one thing you could do is you could say, hey, I know we have mutual friends and I'm going to be in your area. Or I noticed that um, you're a sports fan and I'm doing this fantasy football league. You know, whatever it is, come up with a common denominator and then let him ask you out. Let him bring it out of the friend zone and into the flirt zone. So, yeah, Which is exactly how I met my partner. You know, she reached out and said, hey, I've seen your show. Uh, my job is something where I might qualify to be one of the guests on your show. And then she left it at that. I went and looked at her Facebook. I looked at her pictures and I wrote back and I said, I would yeah. like to meet you, but I want to be really clear that I'm interested in meeting you on a personal level. So it was good. So yeah, you know, touch base with the men that you want to open yourself up to. Okay. Another thing that's really important is that if you want a guy to know that you like him, that you're interested, you cannot play games. I agree. The whole rules thing, um, I'm sorry, Sherry Feynman or whatever your name is, I am not a fan um, because when you don't respond to text messages, what does a guy think? He just thinks you've gone away. Yeah, it's it, not, you don't care. You're not interested. It's not sexy. And here's the thing. The guy that's into the hunt or winning, that guy might be interested in it. Yeah, but usually those guys are more about hunting than they are about a relationship. Right. And In fact, interestingly enough, one of the things I was thinking about is... Um, Something I totally blanked on, Marnie. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Luckily, we have three more videos, and we'll come right back to it. So here's the thing that you said. 
that's really important. You you said I will say it for you. Maybe this is Thank what you, you. wanted to maybe. say. How, you need to let a guy know that you're in the world. So he, you have to get on the radar. Get on the radar. Thank was you. That yes, it? That was that it? See, I like read in your mind. It was like you and me, baby. Yeah. This is huge. So you're, the world is vast. If he doesn't know that you're interested, he is going to like wake up, brush his teeth, go to work, get on. Th he doesn't know you're there. So it's totally feminine and totally appropriate to, to get on his radar. I couldn't agree more. I mean, if we don't know you're there, if we don't know you're interested, we're probably going to spend our time where people have said they are interested. It, it's just, it's really that simple. And ladies, you also said, because I'm, I'm remembering all this wisdom, that you have to be in it with this place of, um, you said detachment. Yes. Right? So if he doesn't write back... If he doesn't write back, move on. And see, to me, this is brilliant. I know we're going to talk about online dating in another right. segment, but that's the great thing is go out, be fully present, be interested, but then be prepared to move on if once you're on the radar, he doesn't respond. Right, because there's many fish in the sea. So ladies, go get your fish in poles, and we will see you on the next episode. Thanks, Corey. Thank you, Marnie. <laughs> Peace.